Do you ever sit in front of your computer, like you know you need to write email campaigns and just emails in general, but like you just hit a brick wall and you're like, well, I don't want to do this right now. I can't be bothered to do this right now. And I'm not feeling particularly creative. Well, now with the invention of AI, you can remove a bunch of the thinking from that process as well as speed up your entire copywriting process down to a matter of minutes. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use ChatGPT 4.0 to not only write design based emails, but also plain text emails that are high converting and highly relevant to your brands. Before we jump into it, a bit about myself, my name is Boyan. I own emailmarketer.com. We're an email and SMS powerhouse for e-commerce brands that have generated over a hundred million dollars over the last five years working with D2C brands and in this video I'm gonna be covering how to write emails with ChatGPT and this one page doc is available to you if you sign up to my newsletter first link in the description I'll just send over this exact template over to you guys as this is only one page of a 10 page custom GPT setup within my agency. If you're interested in buying that, I've also put a link in the description, so feel free to check it out. Now, when it comes to writing email campaigns, it's actually not too difficult, right? But what is kind of difficult is getting it to be in the right format, as well as making sure that it's writing about interesting angles and ensuring that it's actually high converting, right? So let's get into it. Essentially, when it comes to this tutorial, I'm going to break it down into two parts. First part is how to write design based emails. Second part being plain text. Now, when it comes to writing design based emails, it's relatively straightforward. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up ChatGPT 4.0 and you're just going to ask it to conduct some research regarding your product. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use Udi as an example. Now, once it actually finishes conducting the research, the next step is simply to copy and paste the template prompt that I have in the doc and insert your email angle. Now, when it comes to the email angle, it's actually not too hard to think of creative ones on the fly. So for example, by looking at the research, a few angles that come to mind is highlighting the recent collaborations or maybe talking about some potential pain points that the product solves and then handling objections around those pain points or doing some storytelling around the specific target audience, maybe looking into some reviews and that kind of stuff for the actual stories themselves. So looking at all of this research, I think I'll do a campaign around potentially handling some objections around sizing objections objections, maybe talking about, yeah, like you're thinking about gifting it to a plus size friend. You don't know if it's going to fit or not. Here's the size chart, etc., etc. So I'll probably do an angle around gift giving challenges as well as something to do with their sizing options. So essentially, all you got to do is write out the campaign angle here for it to generate the copy. So in this case, I'm going to say something like an objection handling email around limited sizing options when trying to gift a whole family matching sets, something along those lines, right? So I'm going to hit enter and then see what it comes up with. Now, the most important part is not to take the output verbatim for what it is. It's super, super important that you actually go in and modify these accordingly because sometimes it might get details about specific products wrong or if you're looking for it to quote specific like measurements or whatever it could make a mistake regarding that but in general it's going to do somewhat okay and you can even ask it to kind of like pad out specific sections or rewrite specific sentences if you would like so in this instance you can see that it's not only come up with the copy but also because of how i've prompted it it's also given you the visual brief that you can actually just directly forward onto a designer. So that way you have total creative control and it helps minimize the back and forth between yourself and your design team. As you can see straight away, it adheres to most of the email composition principles in terms of having a CTA button above the fold, etc. It's even giving you specific guidance around how it actually wants the email to look. And yeah, if you just go in and modify this, in like two more minutes, you'll be able to have a high converting piece of copy for a design-based email. Now, in terms of plain text, the most important part to this is the lack of visual brief, number one, but also the higher target word count. Another thing is you don't wanna use plain text emails for all types of email angles. I like to primarily focus around either objection handling or pain points or diving into storytelling. So essentially, I have this little cheat sheet here for you guys. And again, if you want to access this exact doc, first link in the description is completely for free. 
But if you want the entire custom GPT with one hour of live screen sharing demo, as well as a 10 page SOP doc on exactly how to design high converting emails from end to end with GPT, feel free to purchase it in the second link. But in terms of the different types of email angles, I would recommend storytelling as the one that you use for majority of your plain text emails. And there's essentially three archetypes of storytelling emails. One is going to be founder led storytelling. The other is going to be team led storytelling. And the third is going to be consumer led storytelling. So founder led could be something like about the origin stories of the brand team led. It could be something about a marketing intern being forced to hit sales targets and creating a little bit of drama around that. And in terms of the consumer led storytelling, it could just be a dramatized story from a trust pilot review or the dramatization of a piece of UGC. Now, when it comes to plain text emails, writing the angle is pretty much going to be in the same format as you would with the design based emails, except it's going to be optimized towards, let's say stories, for example. So the prompt I ended up using was a promotional email for the avocado Udi from the perspective of Sydney, who's a fictional customer that has over 10 Udi's in her collection. Tell a story that highlights the quality of the Udi's in an indirect way. So what's going to happen is it's going to spit out a plain text email that roughly fits the word count that you're looking for. However, when you're doing it this way, it's probably not going to nail it out the gate, right? Because the story might be too dramatized or it could just sound a little bit offbeat or off brand. In which case you can use it as inspo for the next angle. So in this case, the output was, I swear I wasn't planning to buy another Udi, I already have one or like 10. My friends joke that I could start my own blanket shop, avocado Udi, boom, willpower was gone, print the warmth, aren't they all the same? Every Udi hits a little different. This I would say actually is a relatively good email. However, it kind of feels a little bit weird if you sent this out to your list, right? So what I would do is actually write a plain text email overlay and have this be the reply to the first original email, if that makes sense. And it'll be something like, Hey, Sydney, we know that you love our product because you know, you've bought 10 of them. Could we trouble you with writing our next like promotional email or something along those lines? You see what I mean? So it's like, you can ask it to write a story and then wrap some context around it to make it make sense. Or you can use the underlying angle as inspiration for the next prompt to get a lot closer to exactly what it is you're looking for. So yeah, this is essentially a really quick way for you to write copies for not only your design based emails, but also plain text emails and cut your copywriting time down from 10 to 20 minutes per piece of copy all the way down to a few minutes. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.